What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a face cam border overlay, kind of like this one that you're seeing right now. So guys, welcome back to another video of mine. Hope you guys in did enjoy your day. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a cool little um, face cam border or face cam overlay. Um, so so you can add a little bit of flair to your face cam videos. Of course, um, it gives it a little some cool effects to look at. Uh, it's, it's really it's not really needed at all. But um, you guys see a lot of YouTubers that do this and you see that it has a little border um, and then has their name underneath it. If you guys see it in my videos, um, in my face cam videos, I have the little thing that says Justin Diario and like the rectangle border on the face cam. I just think it looks cool. That's really the main t um, point of this whole thing. But um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. The things you will need is, of course, um, a, f a photo editing software like Photoshop or this is I'm gonna be using paint.net for this tutorial and of course you need to know how to add a face cam to your video so I did make a tutorial about this already on my channel I'll leave the link in the description it is it's it, you can just find it is how to add a face cam to your videos by Justin Diario um, and I show you the, the the most difficult way to add a face cam to your videos is by doing it all in post editing as is by recording your gameplay using fraps or dx tori and then recording your face cam in the background at the same time using i don't know whichever face cam or webcam recording software would may, maybe be at windows media m windows movie maker or i don't know whatever software that came with the webcam that you bought so that's a hard way to do it because and i explained all of this in my face cam tutorial i'm not going to go into detail but what you really need for this tutorial right now is a screenshot which i'm which i'm showing you right now of your recording with your face cam already edited in so yeah um, you have to add your to, uh, so re do your recording and do your webcam recording finish it and make sure you already edited your face cam in your video perfectly so let's say this is an example so let's say um, this is a video let's say for example and this is my face cam that i have as you guys can see you have to make sure that your face cam is already um it's cropped it's it makes sure it's already synced it doesn't the audio doesn't really need to be synced but you need to have your face cam um where you want it where it, it already needs to be edited if that makes sense but as you can see this is what i mean as you guys can tell by the recording on your screen right now so and once it once your face cam is cropped to the size and the location you want it you have to take a screenshot of the preview window on your editing software sony vegas does do this um as you, as you guys know, all editing software has had a little preview window so you guys can see what you're editing. Um, Sony Vegas has a feature where you can actually take a screenshot of what is on the preview window. So what I did is I opened Sony Vegas, I I opened up my recording file, I added it in my face cam, I shrink, shrunk my face cam, move, moved it to the top left corner of the screen, and then took a screenshot. So that's what you need. It, it took a lot, long time to explain, but it's kind of confusing. But yeah, I know Merle's action already has a face cam um, feature built in so I didn't need to do all that all I need to do is record a video the face cam will already be there as you guys can tell right now this was a Marilla's action recording because you guys can see my face cam is already in there so now with that whole long intro done I'm really sorry let's uh, get started so what I want to do is t um, copy that screenshot you did right click click copy and go to your image editing software go to image uh that's gonna be paint.net and this tutorial is gonna be for the slightly more advanced users so if you're if you know nothing about paint.net um you should probably watch one of my older videos or watch a paint.net beginner's guide or something i don't know so yeah so first thing you want to go to image canvas size make it whatever canvas size you want i'm going to make it 1280 by 720 but you have to make sure that the canvas size is um the same um aspect ratio or same dimension as what your video is going to be so if you're recording a 1080p video then make sure that this is at 1080p but since uh most of my videos or all of my videos are going to be recorded at 720p um i'm going to make it 720p so yeah so you can delete the background white color if you want so what you want to do is copy uh, or paste the back the screenshot that you just copied in here by pressing Control v on your keyboard now press keep canvas size make sure you do that this is important now as you guys can tell we have a little bit of a problem because um the pic the screen the screenshot that we took is bigger than the actual canvas size because the screenshot is at 1080p so what you want to do is zoom into this corner all right zoom in so you can see where this is where the picture ends hold shift and resize and shrink the actual screenshot until it fits perfectly into the frame of the canvas that we have so as you can see at first try i did i was pretty good but it's actually really easy to do you have to zoom 
all the way in hold shift and if you resize i can see it automatically locks it to the pixels it's not a it's not it as you can see it's not moving freely it's locking to a sort of a grid so if you if you move it slowly then you can see it automatically locks to the perfect match right there it's perfectly in line so now deselect it now we have a 720p screenshot of our recording so what you want to do is add a new layer by going to the layers tab and click add new layer and um go to the um shapes tool where it says there shapes now i'm going to choose you can choose a rectangle or a rounded rectangle of course you can't choose eclipse or any of these triangles because they're not the shape of our webcam so now this totally depends on what your shape is so what you want to do is go to i'm going to go to rectangle you can choose rounded rectangle if you want it doesn't really matter uh, make sure you have draw shape outline checked which is the first one make put your brush width up to eight is a good number so now what you want to do is, is zoom in you can zoom in and now draw the shape make sure it's perfectly outlining your face cam so i'm gonna draw it and as you can see i'm gonna make it white so you can see it better actually no, i'm gonna make it red so you can see it better there we go so let me redo that again if you guys didn't see it um so yeah so shapes rectangle draw shape outline brush with eight um you you can leave the color at the whatever right now because you can change the color later draw the shape around make sure it's perfectly around your face cam make it as big as you want and there we go now you have that done of course if you don't want the color that you started out with which is i don't like the red color so what you want to do is click the magic wand on the tools hold uh select the red face cam shape that you just made the overlay or the border and go to the paint bucket and change the color now if you do want it to look a bit cooler you can go to the gradient tool select two colors make sure they're the same color or not no select one color make sure they're the different shades of the same color so i'll do a light blue and then like a dark blue or a light red then a dark red or whatever um etc etc so i like the blue gradient so what you want to do is hold shift and drag from top to bottom of the overlay and as you can see it now it adds a little blue to dark blue little gradient cool ramp effect now that's you i know you can do that in, in photoshop so you can also do that in paint.net which is pretty cool so again that's your border done now you can add some you can stop here but i, I like to add my name to it and I, I actually like to add a drop shadow so to add a nice drop shadow you can install uh, a plugin that i will leave in the description but if you don't want to do that that's fine just go to effects photo glow put the radius at 20 the brightness at minus 100 and the contrast at 100 so 20 minus 100 100 press ok now as you can see before and after this is before there's no drop shadow and after it now adds a little shadow it's, it's really it looks really cool and i think it looks a lot better than uh, than before i think that's what that's what it looks like without the screenshot in the background so you can you can hide you can delete the background now now because the only re the really the real reason you needed the screenshot was a reference to where your face cam was going to be so you can delete the background now if you want add a new layer if you guys want to add some more cool effects to it now i like to add text now you don't want to go too overkill on this overlay because then it'll just be distracting to the video so the last thing i want to do is add an, a nice little text uh, right under the face cam so i'm going to type in justin the audio of course actually i'm going to make it all caps There we go. So now there's just near. I'm gonna make it white so you can see it. Um, make it bigger. There we go. So as you can see, the 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 EO of just near area is going out to the side. I don't like that. I want it to be perfectly in the center. So I'm gonna go to my rectangle select, highlight box, make a box around your text. Make sure you're on this. You're on the same layer as the text. Uh, oh, make sure the text is on a layer above your your border overlay. So go to the move selected pixels and then i'm going to shrink this and shrink it horizontally that makes sense so now it's perfectly in frame with it so now i'm gonna you can change the color of the just in the area again but i like to leave it at white so what i'm going to do is, is repeat the glow you can press ctrl f to repeat the glow to so now add another drop shadow so now uh, as you can see um i don't like the look of that it's like a white glow so i'm going to press ctrl u to undo I'm gonna go I'm gonna actually change the color of it so let's just go to the paint bucket tool choose a color you want I'm gonna make it green why not <laughs> hold shift and select the text that 
you know, that looks alright for now. Just for tutorial purposes, that looks totally fine. So now, if you're done there, let's say I'm done here. I'm gonna go to effects. I'm gonna repeat the glow again. So now it has a nice, a nice drop shadow. And boom, you're finally done your overlay that you've been working on for the past, I don't know how long. So now you can go to file, save as, and you, this is really important. You have to save it as a .png because the .png saves the transparency and to know and you have to make sure that the background is transparent so when you put it onto your video in your in your in your editing video editing software it, the video will show underneath it so make sure it's a .png name it whatever you want face cam border um i'm just going to name it tutorial so i know it's the tutorial one and make sure you click save and there we go press ok make sure you press flatten and then you're all done and you're ready to go now all you have to do is to open up your video editing software and once you're in it of course um edit your video and edit your face cam into your video as you usually would let's say i don't have a recording on file ready so i'm just gonna use the 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 screenshot again as an example so here it is uh, face cam screenshot here it is so this is the one that we just used so let's say that you're, this is your recording, um, you're, you're done editing your video, your face cam is already synced up and edited perfectly where you want it. Of course, you, you already did that, because you have to make sure that the video is edited before you do your, your border, you, before you make your border. So now what you want to do is press con control shift Q or add a new layer, make sure picture in picture is enabled in your, your, make sure you have the ability to do like picture in picture in your video editing software. Um, most have that feature but uh, like the more advanced ones like Sony Vegas and Camtasia and stuff like that what you want to do is go to where your face cam border is where the heck is mine totally forgot oh, yeah it's in here there it is face cam border tutorial png this is the one that we just made so drag it on top of your video recording and bam there we go as you guys can see our face cam border is right above our face cam it's perfectly in line but uh again if it's not if you didn't make your your border overlay using a reference you're gonna have to um, move your face cam border overlay around to make sure it matches on top perfectly so let's say your face cam is on the bottom right or make sure maybe you want your face cam somewhere else all you have to do is use the video event pan, video event event pan crop and move it your border around let's say it's over here move it there and then there you moved your thing so if you need to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. It's really simple, and of course, this this does differ depending on your video editing software. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, long tutorial. It took a bit longer for me to get at what I wanted, but uh, it is kind of a confusing video because it, this is all different depending on different people and how you, how you guys do your face cams. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've been going rambling on for too long, and please leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.